buckled up their boots and snapped on their skis for one last day of the ski season at several resorts. That includes Echo Mountain, Snowmass, Silverton, and Denver 7's Allie Jenner John checked in with Beaver Creek and has their season roundup. Live cameras over Beaver Creek Resort show a quiet morning, a stark contrast to a season that's been anything but. Early in December, we were, we were, uh, you know, it was a little bit dry, but it ter definitely turned on. And uh, as we turned into the new year, into 2024, it was, uh, it was an awesome snow year. The the, the snow valve was turned on and the, uh, the numbers were great. Pictures from opening day show long lift lines, snowy mountains and riders bundled from head to toe. We're operating with, yeah, like I said, up to 900 acres of terrain and uh, the snow is riding great. Today, the Arrowhead Village cam showing empty lifts and grassy slopes over at McCoy Park, groomed powder and sunny skies. We kind of stick to what makes sense for our operations team. And uh, this year we felt that April 14th was a great day to, to close out the season and the snow is still holding up great, but uh, the warm weather is coming. So yeah, we're, we're ready to um, to have a great end of end of the season here. Dunn says Vale is open for another week and Breckenridge is hoping to ride all the way into May. Epic passes are on sale through today with 10 buddy tickets included. I'm Allie Jenner John, Denver 7. Already